Okay, hey guys. So yeah, this is the new moon report for March 6th coming up. Um, 2019, new moon's going to be in Aquarius. I labeled this video the water bearer floods cleanse into the unknown because you have the sun and moon conjunct obviously because it's a new moon but then it's conjunct Neptune and it's in Aquarius so this is this total water flooding you know um, so it could be a good thing because last new moon I mean full moon I don't know what, what it was a full moon in Leo um, and then it was also that whole thing with the um, Pluto Saturn conjunction but then also Venus was um, in, con in conjunction with with Saturn and Pluto so I saw a lot of stuff going on you know with other people even myself I saw a lot of wh wherever the Venus place placements were with people I saw a sort of a, you know something just like you know stir up in people like suddenly or just like big changes so I don't know how you know how that was for you but that was a big super moon and it was it was a big deal so that was in Leo so now we have the the water bearer cleansing uh, f uh, new moon in Aquarius conjunct Neptune so I'm curious to see how this plays out um, yeah and then then you have what's interesting is you have um, Mercury is looks like it's uh, station direct so it's about a uh, station retrograde so it's about to go retrograde um, at the same time but it's also conjunct Chiron uh, and it's in Pisces so there could be some type of um, you know some type of communication about healing um, and I, I see that kind of kind of could be what's happening right now with this fl flooding cleansing. Um, so I'm curious to see how that plays out. Yeah, so that's 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 interesting. So we're gonna do a screen share, and we're gonna go over everything in the chart and walk through it, and just kind of see how everything is all connected. So before we go on to the screen share, I just want to make a few announcements. Um, some of you who are on my email list already or on the Facebook group know that I've launched this whole new system of doing recorded readings. Um, at a fraction of my of my rate and um, I was hesitant at first because I thought maybe the one-on-one -on -one connection wasn't going to really happen but it's actually different you know now that I don't have the person with me and interacting I can actually tap into to a higher source of, of cosmic information and they've been spot on man it's been amazing I've been getting these reviews and 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 and, and you know some of them are private so I can't share too much but some of them are on the Facebook uh, my Facebook page but the reviews are just like you know uh, uh, we're tapping into some stuff with this with the recorded readings so um, you know I'll, I'll you'll, you'll see the link in the video and check out my rates and yeah and so next thing is uh, you know like always you know join the Facebook group we, we share a lot of knowledge on that we have a lot of great spiritual seekers on there and wisdom teachers so you know join the Facebook group Sidereal Revolution uh, subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you see if you're watching on YouTube so you see when we come up with new videos and also just join the email list go to my website sidereoastrologist.com and you're gonna see a little window pop up sign up on the email list and you'll get emails and I'm always giving away discounts and free stuff so make sure you take care of that and I think that's it for here now we're gonna go on to the screen share and walk through the uh, the new moon okay okay so we're back all right we got the screen share up so we're gonna walk over the chart um, for this new moon on March 6 2019 um, in case you didn't know by now I practice um, sidereal astrology which means that you know sidereal astrology aligns accurately with the constellations in the sky so yeah most people are surprised when they get into sidereal astrology because uh, you know tropical astrology the mainstream astrology that we all see um, doesn't align with the with the constellations in the sky so you should look it up if you are confused um, and just look up the word you know look, look up the the word uh, procession of the equinox and that will answer a lot of your questions or you can just shoot me an email and I can uh, share that with you or go to my website so anyway we're gonna go into uh, to the screen share and take a look at what we have here so right here uh, that's why I labeled this video the water bearer floods and cleanses into the unknown because it's in Aquarius you see the new moon is in Aquarius and uh, and Aquarius is the water bearer it's the one that comes at the end of the age of Pisces and it just washes away all of the um, the issues that we had with duality which is what Pisces the age of Pisces is about it's the two fish swimming in different directions bound together by matter on earth so now the water bearer is more of um, like more of a like a spiritually tuned 
um, time that we're going to have. Um, so yeah, and Neptune, of course, Neptune is, is, is the great unknown. It's, it's the, the dream space. It's the unknown. It's the channel through of spirit, the great, you know, the great spirit. So all of that's kind of playing out in Aquarius right here. All right. But then another thing I was looking at here, you see this here, you have Mercury station retrograde, which means that it was, it's still right now and it's about to go into retrograde. All right. So we're going to get into retrograde. I don't have the exact dates, but it's, it's probably in a day or probably this day. It's going to actually start going in retrograde. Um, but it's conjunct Chiron. And if you notice the symbol of retrograde, uh, you can't see, well, you can see the S here, but the R, it's the R and the X. It's the, the symbol of the medicinal uh, prescription symbol. So it's interesting that it's conjunct Chiron because Chiron is the healer, the wounded healer and the teacher. And Mercury is a messenger of the gods. So somewhere here in this energy, uh, let me see if this is conjunct. No, no, no. But somewhere here, this energy is, is bringing like communication of healing, whether it's public or not. Um, not sure, but there's there's a healing energy that's going to be communicated, or there's healing that's going to be communicated, and that just is probably what's going on with v Venus and uh, and Mars right here, because you see they're square. And if you remember from the last full moon video, um, Venus was conjunct Pluto and Saturn, so the whole Saturn Pluto conjunction that we have going on right here, that's going to be going on for two years, conjunct the South Node, is just like you know the teachers you know the you know Plu saturn is the teacher the, the limitations of time pluto um is 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 the is is the the lord of the dark you know the shadow work so venus was there doing some sh shadow work and um like i mentioned in the early part of the video, i don't know about you but during that full moon a lot of people that i saw including myself wherever their venus placements were i saw stuff just like phew, like make a total change um, and some of it was dark and it was like meeting the darkness meeting the shadow and then where are you with that where are you when you meet your shadow so um, are, you, are you crazy or do you meet it like you know or do you meet it and then you become friends with it and then does it become a shadow so this work I saw happening all over with my with my crew with me so in clients too you know so yeah, so that that that's what happened last uh, full moon. So now this new moon, if you see, there's a square between um, Venus and Mars, right? And you can see here is a square right there. And if you notice that Venus now is in Sat is in Capricorn, ruled which is ruled by Saturn. So Venus is still dealing with some, you know, like Saturnian energy, which is lessons or time or, or structure or limitations but yeah venus is is dealing right now as that's the divine feminine and then mars the divine masculine is in its natural place it's in aries you know mars is the ruler of aries so but there's a square between them so you know there's healing work going on but then there's a there's a square between the masculine and feminine but there's healing work going on here so i'm curious to see with that how that's going to play out you know it could be some slight agitation and um i notice here that venus uh is square also to uranus which is in the same area um where mars is but i don't think mars is conjunct uranus no but v venus being square to uranus that's something interesting to have a look at because um when when they're not square these two are kind of happy they're joyous uh um, flirtatious but, but now there's this kind of square with Venus and Mars and then there's also the square with Uranus so uh, um, and then it's in it's in Capricorn so there could be a little bit of friction there with with you know the playful part of the Venus Uranus connection um, so yeah let's just keep an eye out for that I mean I, I really don't know what's up but you know always just keep an eye to something there uh, next thing I want to point out, um, there's a T-square going on, but the T-square just involves the, the a star of Orion. But I'm, I'm pointing it out because it's rising. So whenever anything is rising, I always pay attention to it. So here, Alnitek is the belt star of Orion, just above the Orion Nebula, and it's rising. It's in the sign of Taurus. 
So at the time when this new moon goes exact, that's rising. There's a T-square between that, uh, Alnitek, and the whole moon uh, Pluto situation. And then this whole Jup uh, Jupiter in the galactic center and Ophiuchus. So remember all the videos. This is happening for a while too. So all of this energy was all about mixing the elixir, you know, this great elixir. And it's going to take a long time to get the, the formula, right? So, so that's happening. And that's a T-square. So, I mean, Nep Nep Neptune, Neptune um, Jupiter, and Moon, that's an interesting expansion in the cleanse. So that's what I'm saying, the flood. This, this could be like, like a flood of, of something of healing. And, and higher cosmic kind of healing because you have Orion involved which is which is Osiris right that's the great cosmic king then you have this Chiron the Mercury going on so yeah it's a pretty big deal uh, we should pay attention to to this new moon even though there's not a whole lot that's that's going on you know like the, the, this seems pretty focused that that shit is getting washed away <laughs> shit is getting washed away whatever is not working like wash it away you know, cleanse it, cleanse it, clean it, heal it, wash it away, wash out the wounds. So that's what's going on. Um, I think that's it. You know, North Node Cancer, Cosmic Birth, South Node again, conjunct, it's in Sagittarius. This is that whole Saturn Pluto uh, thing that I, I, I'm overdue on a video on that. I really want to focus on that. So let's see if I can get to it soon. I think that's it. So, um, you know, sign up on all my stuff. I mentioned that earlier in the video. You know, make sure you're kind of connected with me. Get, uh, you know, if you're on a budget, man, get these recorded readings. I'm, I'm doing pretty well with them. People are getting good, good. Fee I'm getting good feedback. People are feeling great about it. So I think that's it. And I'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.